In this example, we'd like to find the volume of the solid region that lies between a couple surfaces. So let's start by sketching the region itself. We'll start by sketching the x, y, z coordinate axes. So here's our x, our y, our z. And then we will color code these. So the first piece of information that we're told is that the solid region lies inside the cylinder whose equation is x squared plus y squared equals 4. This, of course, is the equation of a circle of radius 2 in the xy plane. And so we can sketch the circle in the xy plane. This goes through the points uh, 2, 0, 0 and 0, 2, 0. But then because the, there are no restrictions in the z direction, this cylinder is also extended above and below the xy plane. So there's the cylinder. The next piece of information we're told is that the surface or the solid lives above the plane z equals 0. Well, z equals 0 is just the xy plane. So that means that this portion of the cylinder that I drew that was below the xy plane is actually not part of our solid region. But it's okay that we drew it. It's just it's not going to contribute to our region. And then the last piece of information that we're told is that this solid lies below the paraboloid with this formula. So this paraboloid, when x and y are both 0, so above the origin um, in the xy plane, this has a height of 5. And this, this paraboloid opens downward because x squared and y squared are both subtracted. And so this thing is going to look something like, by the way, um, if you plug in these points around the boundary where the radius of the circle is 2, then you would end up with 5 minus uh, 4, which is 1. So this paraboloid cuts through, not like that at all, should be symmetric. The idea is that it should cut through here. <coughs> so it should intersect our cylinder uh, at a height of 1. So this picture is not this scale. So let's, let's try to pull this region out and get a better look at it. So again, we've got a portion of a cylinder. That is capped off by a portion of a paraboloid. So this is the region. And in this region, the surface up here, the blue, this is given by z equals 5 minus x squared minus y squared. And the region on the floor here, this circle, this is going to be our domain. So this is going to be x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 4, or less than or equal to 2 squared, of course. And this is our function right here that's going to map up. And we want to find the volume enclosed by that. Okay, and so volume, of course, the volume of a region. This, by the way, solid regions are usually called E in our book. So the volume of our region E is just the triple integral over E. So the volume of E is the triple integral over E of 1 times dV. You add up all the infinitesimal volume elements and you get the volume of the whole space. So let's work from inside out. The first integral is going to be the integral of the function. So in the z direction, our first idea is to collapse this solid region down to the plane. And so in the z direction, this is going to map from the surface up above, 5 minus x squared minus y squared, down to the plane, z equals 0. Once we're in the plane, the next thing we need to do is integrate over this region d, which looks like a disk. So I'm just going to leave that as the double integral over the disk and write this as an iterated integral of a single integral with respect to z on the inside, and then a double integral of whatever the result of that is. So let's integrate the inside first. So this then becomes the double integral over the region d. The d is the disk again of, when you integrate 1 dz, that's just the difference of the bounds. And so the integral of the inside, the answer to the inside integral is 5 minus x squared minus y squared. And that has to be integrated up dA, so with respect to area of this domain region D in the base. And so at this point, it's useful to take a better look at what the domain looks like. 
So we've, we've collapsed our integral, our first integral collapsed our three-dimensional region down to a two-dimensional region. And what we're left with is this circle, uh, disk I should say, of radius two that we want to integrate over. And the function we want to integrate has an x squared plus y squared that could be, you know, thought of as part of it. And so this region and integrand together are really begging to be done in polar coordinates. So if we want to use polar coordinates, we can build our region, remember, by r going from 0 to 2, tracing out this line segment, and then theta taking this line segment and zipping it around all the way around the disk from 0 to 2 pi. That's going to cause our integrand here to become 5 minus r squared because remember r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared in polar coordinates. And the one thing that we cannot forget is that we have to deal with this area element right here. The polar area element is that this, should e this, this becomes r dr d theta. We have to multiply by this extra factor of r. Okay, so let's compute this integral on the next page. We'll make all these appropriate substitutions, but remember a circle or a disk is just a polar rectangle. So it's a rectangle in polar coordinates. The, and what I mean by that is that the boundaries are just numbers. It's just bounded by numbers. Um, and our integrand is now five minus r squared. Our dA is r dr d theta. So here's what we have left to compute. The volume of our solid region now has been reduced to this integral as we just said, but based on all the work we just did, we know that this can be computed as the integral from zero to two pi, integral from zero to two, five minus r squared times r dr d theta. This integral is separable. There's no thetas anywhere inside the integrand and the limits of the inside integral don't involve theta. So it can be broken up. Uh, integral from zero to two pi d theta times this one we should multiply through 0 to 2, 5r minus r cubed, dr, and these two integrals are just basic calc 1 integrals. This one's 2 pi. This one's going to be 5 halves r squared minus a quarter r to the fourth, and we'll plug in our boundaries. r goes from 0 to 2, and here's what we're left with. We end up with 2 pi times 5 times 2, so that's 10, minus uh, 2 to the 4th over 4, so that's going to be 4. And then when 0 goes in, everything uh, cancels out. This difference is 6, and what we end up with, our final answer, the volume of that region. So remember, the region is a region that's capped off by a paraboloid and then has a little bit of a cylinder down below. This region, the volume is computed to be 12 pi.